<laughs> we are lost. Now he's looking at the map. I thought you all know. The cooking outside can be even dangerous. The hot piece of coal jumped right on Gwen's new leggings <laughs> and it burned the hole inside. <laughs> Welcome back guys, finally it's the different scenery than just inside of our house making videos. We are currently in the forest, Gwen right there is picking up some woods, which we will need later. Gwen is experiencing the same way of life just like in the Filipino province. In some houses there is still like not electric stove, not gas stove and people are still using a fire for preparing dishes and foods. And Gwen is a lumberjack today. <laughs> Hi! Does it feel like at home picking up woods? This one's skinny. You like these kinds? Yeah, because it's easier to break. Gwen is a professional in making a fire. Yeah. Why are we going to make a fire? You will find out later, so keep watching on this video, guys. It's actually not my first time here in this specific place. Uh, years ago, we were coming here with my family for the woods like meaning for the woods we use for heating the houses in the winter it looked like this like with the tractor and the whole family and cutting down the trees and bringing it home so Gwen is done picking the woods is it enough? I guess. And we can continue on our way. Is it far? Or maybe 20 minutes of walking. Shopping. I'm shopping. <laughs> Filipina, I'm shopping. Ka Filipina coming from the Ukayukai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing what I want to say like this can look like a forest in the spring, in the beginning of the spring, you can see the trees are still not growing the leaves, but very soon, like maybe in one month, the tops of the trees will be covered in the green leaves, but still like this it looks like a dead forest, but right now it's just recovering from a winter. You want more? You don't have enough? Gwen is never satisfied with what she has and she still wants like more. There are a lot of lights and... Right here you can see the difference when the two kinds of forests are merging. You can see the difference. These kind of trees are oak, I would say trees. And here you can see it's getting thicker. Those are pine trees. Is it easy walking right now? Yeah. And do you realize that the way back will be harder because we're going all the way uphill? <laughs> oh, it will be, for sure. Another 30 minutes of walking. 30 minutes of walking downhill. So let's say 45 minutes walking uphill. But 
What I also want to talk about is the thing that once in a time <coughs> all of us should sometimes escape outside to the forest or somewhere out of the city. I could feel it on myself that I was feeling like tired after work, going just to work, to home. It was early, dark in the spring and I was feeling like very exhausted and when she was like very depressed, stressed, she was sleeping all the day after she came from work, nothing was helping. Today is the Sunday. Yesterday Gwen spent the whole day resting and still was not feeling okay. And we are about 15 minutes when we arrived here to the forest. Her mood changed and turned around 180 degrees. And she can already feel it as well, right? That it's better. So the point of that is if you are feeling stressed, depressed, not feeling well, do not try to close yourself inside the house. It's not really gonna help, in my opinion. Better dress up and reach out somewhere outside to the nature. Let the sun shine on you. You also need some vitamin D. And one of the natural sources of vitamin D is from the sun. The thing, quite a different thing, which Gwen is not keen on, is the angle of the sun rays in the Philippines and here in Europe is quite different. In the Philippines, you will get much more vitamin D from the sun than here in the Czech Republic. It can be, you can still feel during the summer when it's very hot and the sun rays are really burning your skin. But as the scientific research says, you will still get the, the bigger amount of vitamin D if you are in the southern hemisphere of the earth, not here in the northern. There's a hut there. Can you check? What? A hut. A hut. Let's check hut. what's the hut for. Hut. Like the natural streams are flowing, birds are singing, and Filipinas are laughing. So, the question, what's this for? I don't know. For deer to eat? Oh, it's like a feeding station. They will put the hay above and they will, they can put like some apples or wheat, barley, anything. And inside of that, there could be like the storage. There's nothing in. There's nothing inside. The thing what I'm enjoying so much being here is the peace, is the quiet. Those are the things which is hard to feel once you are living with a Filipina woman. You are not having it much often. Mm -hmm. Is it? But good thing that I am one of the most quiet Filipinas. Quiet Filipinas? Yeah. Since Very rare to find a quiet Filipina in one of those. I haven't experienced that yet. Mm -hmm. Here we are slowly reaching to the valley of this forest. And of course, in the end of that valley is the river. Um, we usually go to the forest and get some woods and we're using like a sack of from rice the bigger one the big ones and we should always fill it inside the big kinds of woods and we return home and we have to walk up for one hour and we usually carry it using our head because it's heavy just here or here it's better with the head mm, yeah. did it affect your head no, but my height was affected. <laughs> I did not grow. Because in the Philippines, we believe that um, lifting heavy things will hinder you from growing. 
so that's the reason why I'm very small. So I'm lifting very heavy things when I was younger. There's something we believe I remember when we were younger, especially if we are getting woods and we usually see like this. The clothing. But what we have there is white. And we believe if you will put it here like that and you can see the angels. You wanna try? Let's see. Again. Face the camera with you. Hold it properly. That do <laughs> very funny. <laughs> no. I will never see an angel in my life. The only I will see will be the devil. <laughs> because was, I don't believe I don't belong to the sky. That's the trick. I was tricked many times by my brothers with that when we were getting woods in. Because I really love angels when I was younger. I believe in angels. Like I really want to see them. So they told me that get something of those piece and put it in your mouth and like Put your head up to the sky and look at it. Close your eyes and you will count one, two, three and open your eyes. Can you see the angel? And you say no, you will just and you will eat the leaves of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> How stupid you are that you let them do that many times. <laughs> and <they> believe me. <laughs> do you remember when I was mentioning that when you are with the Filipina, you will never experience the peace and quiet. And Gwen was saying she is the one of the Filipinas who are quiet. And now you can hear that. <coughs> all the squirrels, all the squirrels in the forest are awake right now. You were tricked by me, right? <laughs> hey. I really wanted to do that to you. <sighs> There's a road here. We could have right here. No, we could not have right here because it's not allowed for just the personal use. It's, it, the road is used just for the people harvesting the woods or those who are taking care of the forest. That's why there was a gate up there. Let's try to find some fishes in the river. Can you catch a fish? Yeah. Did you hear that, guys? I did when I was younger, we were catching fishes, crabs in the yeah. river. And now you are old. We'll see if I can still do that. Now you are my old woman, so let's see if you can still. The fishes here are different. Hmm. That's the river you mentioned? This? Yeah. Does it look like that's a river? That's not a river, that's a lugut. That's a lugut. It's very nice here. I know it is nice. I'm taking you on those places so you will know. When I was in the Philippines with Gwen, not even once she brought me somewhere like that. She was lazy of walking. We Filipinos don't time. like walking. We didn't have time. But there could be a lot of forests that we could have go. But it's dangerous. There are a lot of insects. Snakes, scorpions, baga baga. Yeah, that's, that's crazy guys and that's true. We were canyoneering in the Kawasan Falls of the island Cebu. We had our guide, private guide. And I was walking in front of Gwen and the guide. And then they started like screaming, Jacob, Jacob, come here, let's, let's check this out. Then I was coming closer to them and behind the store, behind the stone, there started appearing a huge centipoid, but the size was like 50 centimeters. Yeah. Huge yeah, one. Too. Me as a person who is scared of literally any kind of insect, I just turned myself and with a very speed walk, I started going away. And what the guy, the Filipino guy did, he just grabbed a little stick which was laying on the ground and <laughs> And I don't know if he killed that thing or not. No. He just made it more angry. 
then it was following us for sure yeah but it was really crazy it was my first time as well seeing the pig ones because normally i can see that everywhere in my house like outside the small ones but big ones i was very scary i'm even scared the very tiny ones and even if our house is not in the forest area there are still some like under the ground <laughs> and you want to bring me to that house and want me live there everywhere in the philippines there are not only in my house not inside of our house just outside of the house you said you will make the place where we live secure yeah we will like you remember as well when i was working in our house and there was a snake came in with me yeah. came in beside me and sometimes we were sleeping and snakes are jumping on us mm. <laughs> i'm lost hmm. we are lost and he's looking at the map i thought you all know i know <gasps> baby there's a spider in your jacket i'll take it out he's scared of spiders and there is a little one here i'll give it to him come on spider spiders here are not dangerous but kubo is scared of spiders where are we oh yeah you going this way oh Baby, are you sure? Or we will try that way. We are lost. We are lost. Filipinos, even if we have Google Maps, we are still lost. <laughs> and I have a check, I am with the checkman, so I feel secured. I don't have to think about if we are lost or not. Not worried. I told Kuba if we could find a nest here, we could find a crow and bring it home like baby crow and we will like take care of it up until it will, it will grow and we will train a to train the crow to find something for us. <laughs> Money in the street. I'm just joking. But I could see the video somewhere like on YouTube there was a crow and but this crow is not wild crow. Someone owns it. But the guy trained the crow to steal something like money, gold. It's crazy. I'm not sure if it's possible. How come? Right? But I really like birds. I really want to take care of them. They're one of my most favorite pets. And since I was younger as well, we were always going to the forest with my siblings to find something like lost baby birds and because there are a lot of yes yeah, sparrows there are a lot of like that in the Philippines and usually they have um, we have a lot of mango trees in the Philippines and usually those parents or moms are oh my god are making nest in the uh, mango trees and there are times that it's very windy in the Philippines like that so we are going under to hunt some like lost babies birds and we could really see it everywhere a lot of those birds everywhere in the Philippines when I was younger so we always um, hunt them not killing them but bringing them at home and taking care of them up until they grow old and then we will just release them after and I really love sparrows so much they're very cute now I don't know where are we going how I wish I could see something some animals here as well in the Philippines if you will be walking um, in the forest I think except Mindanao the, it's the forest there is very thick you could maybe see some animals walking or like just roaming around but since I'm from Visayas and I'm the area where I was living was also a little bit foresty because it's like mountainous region and we have forests as well we usually go there for example um, looking for some woods looking for some wild plants and there are no animals except for 
wild chickens a lot of them there but other things like wild goats so you don't have those things there but just wild chickens and it's so nice it's really hard to catch them walking in this forest really made me remember my childhood memories though it's really quite different here i would say the forests here in Czechia is more safer compared to the philippines in the philippines you have a lot of bushes um it looks very scary because there might be some insects that will bite you because my brother experienced it before when we were like getting woods and some insect bite him that he was really crying so much whole day because it was very painful and we had to take him to the hospital and another thing as well my sister was <laughs> bitten by like different kind of bees and whole entire uh, her head was full of bites and it was really like swelling a lot and she had fever for days as well because of what happened and walking here I would say it's safe and Kuba left me I can't see him anymore it's only me here left but this really reminds me of my childhood it's a lot of fun when I was younger and after that there are a lot of coconut trees oh he's there coconut trees papaya trees everywhere <laughs> even if it's not ours I admit it myself that we were younger we were so crazy together with the neighbor kids like we we're about 20 kids going together in a forest getting some woods and stealing coconut and papaya and other fruits and mangoes it was really crazy that we always bring it home with us and then later our parents received some notice from the barangay official that these kids stole some something from the farm or somewhere it was it was quite um scary but at the same time enjoyable but here it's a really nice forest but i can't see any kinds of like there are no fruits nothing that you can find but still it's so refreshing um i can really feel the fresh air in the philippines you may but because of the hot weather it's sometimes hard for you to feel it because even if you're in the forest still it's you're feeling very hot it's a different kind of feeling different kind of vibe baby wait are we still far? I, don't know. I think we've been walking for one hour already. I was saying Gwen to grab some shoes. She doesn't mind getting dirty. No, it's it is good for walking in the forest and muddy place, but my shoes is broken, so my feet will be wet. Good. You can wash it in the river later. I think we have to follow the streams of water. <clears throat> Gwen has a really good point She said if we want to reach the river, we should follow the stream I'm still wondering how does this stream, streams of water know where is the river? How did they know? That's the biggest question I They have. are the same smart as you <laughs> I have some stupid questions sometimes, right? What's my deal? My, wow. my primary teacher used to say it's better to ask even the stupid question than did not ask and for the rest of your life be stupid. Hmm. Should I try climbing the tree? Climb. I don't like this one. It's, it looks scary. Remember, the ambulance will have hard time reaching here. <laughs> no, I'm climbing even coconut tree in the Philippines. That doesn't even have something like to hold on. Imagine, these are very easy to climb. Hmm. You want to see it the second time? Because last year I was climbing as well in the, what was the tree? Cherry tree. <laughs> People were looking at me. <laughs> they can't hide having seen a Philippine or Asian climbing a cherry tree. 
Uh, the other crazy thing that when people can see us together, they are staring, literally staring. I don't know what's going through their minds or thoughts. Oh my god, that European is dating a child. But the truth is opposite. I am younger in this relationship and Gwen is older. Mm -hmm. It may doesn't seem like it, but that's the truth. Just months, baby. It's not counted. Doesn't matter, I'm the younger. Still. She is my sugar mommy. <laughs> Can you hear it? What? The what? noise of the river. We are getting closer. It's not river, baby. It's something that's cutting off the trees. You have seen the river before? Of course. Like why? Because I could see that. Like how come? Because I've been here many times. Many times? Yes. With who? Your family here? Mention her here. With my ex-girlfriend. Really? Yeah. How was it? Amazing. There are people too. Good. That's really nice. How was your date? Good? People, I can't believe it. Could have break the car here. And here we are finally reached the river. If you will be bad at me, I will throw you inside. Mm. Are you sure there's something inside? You will find out. How can you throw me? Here is the bridge crossing the river. And here, somewhere around the bridge, we will build a camp. He's going to find some stones. Ew, there are worms on it. Baby, this kind of worms will stick your skin. It will eat your blood. I don't want to touch it. Yeah! Yeah! Look! Alimato! I'll help you, okay? Gwen is the one handling a fire Like something here, baby. It might be dirty. It will be dirty. Yeah, the, this one might be dirty. <laughs> Can you hear that, guys? <laughs> Me with Gwen are still from the ages when we were kids. We were the ones eating the sand, eating the soil, eating the mud. Those are the healthiest people. <laughs> and a little bit of dirt on the wooden stick. I believe will not kill us. The cooking outside can be even dangerous. <coughs> the hot piece of coal jumped right on Gwen's new leggings and it burned the hole inside. <laughs> My jacket too. Yeah, your jacket too. Yeah, look. Oh, destroyed. What happened? Why well, it was exploding? I don't know. I could have burned myself here. <laughs> and the first round of sausages is ready, and it's time for. Lunch.
is enjoying her last bites of the sausage before before we will water the fire remember guys anytime you are making a fire somewhere outside make sure you will water it enough after for sure you don't want the whole forest caught on fire because of you yeah there will be prison <laughs> then we will go to the prison <laughs> just for the four pieces of sausage we wanted to make but it's really amazing because how people are responsible here in the philippines i remember we were making a fire in the forest and we didn't like turn it off <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's okay i don't know maybe <laughs> uh -huh. maybe do we still have drink water oh there is <laughs> When is making sure the fire will not be spread? We got it from the river, so we have to return it where we got it. Yeah. Right? Of course. And here is the campfire ready to leave. No more smoke coming out, no more plastic waste left. That's how it should look like every time. The way back for Gwen was kinda like a sleeping pills. Gwen fell asleep, right away we get inside the car. I am in the end of this video, for you guys it's the beginning to get your daily dose of walking. Thank you guys for watching this video, if you like this video you can hit the like and subscribe button, check our other videos in our channel and see you again next time.